Hi, so uh, with the simple script here, I got a, a list here, an empty list, and then I got, um, I import OS, and then from OS I use this OS work function here to iterate for to all the all the folders that are folders and files that are inside of this uh, folder of mine that is inside this hard drive and so I will with OS work I just will get the root directory the folders a list of all the folders in the in this one and then uh, the list of files in this one folder then if there are other folders into the first one it will go into the, the other folders and checks and check for all the the files in the subfolders so for each file in um, in this list of folder i will just um, append the file to this to this uh, list here and so in this list I will append the root so that I have the path to get the complete path to get to this file plus the file the name of the file isolated like this so each file will have will be, will be stored as a list into a list where there are two items the, um, the root with the path to this file and the file and then I will sort um, my all the files in all the folders by uh, their names. So I'm using the key to sort them with this function myFunk. And here myFunk gets the, um, the thing to be listed here and gets uh, as a um, as the key the the not the zero item but the one item and the one item is the file so it will uh, um, order them by the name of this file then I will create my HTML file where I will save all the files and so I create an empty string and then for every uh, file in this list I will add to HTML the ahref, also the address of my file, that is the first part, f0, that is the root, plus f1, that is the file, and this is the address that I can click on it to see the file, and then I will have uh, as the name just f1, only the file, so the, I don't have the root where it he is it. If you want the root also, you should add it here f0 and uh, dash dash here um, slash slash and f1 if you want to complete but I wanted just the name to be more easy to read it and then I go and make a break into the HTML file then I add the number of files at the end with this uh, the lang length of the list transform it in a string to attach it to the string because otherwise it will give me an error because this is a number this is and this is a string and we and you cannot use add this plus sign with the string and an int then you go and save the file as output html like this with uh, open uh, this file in writing mode in encoding as a UTF-8 as a file and the file write this HTML string here that I have collected with all the keys with all the items here in my list and then I start the file with the os.start file output HTML so let's see uh, I want to show you just my folder here we are in the hard drive and my folder is this one and you see there is a bunch of files here in subfolders and so it will go and get those files let me let me run it if I I can do something fast using the command line because sublime wrapper is not so fast so I'm gonna do um, Python and all folders as I call this one as folders file let's run it there we go 
in a second you have all the file and uh, as you can see at the end here there are 677 file and they are all I think they are ordered by by name as you can see here and you can go and and watch them this is a file list and this is an XLS so it makes you download it PDF makes you see it and the, the image you can s see them in the browser so that is my program here. okay this is a video and um, so you can do whatever you can do in the browser you can see them and just um, if it is a DOCX a word file you will download it for like same for Excel and as you as it usually happens in the in your browser and so I hope you like this video see you uh, next time with Python and some nice script useful for you